Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And I'm back with another of my 100 quick and easy cards series. So I, don't, I have done a bit of prep but it's still a quick and easy card that I've come up with today. So I think this might be card number 16. Well, who knows how far through 100. I hope to get to 100 but... I'm not going to stress it if I don't quite make it, but we'll still add in loads to you. So I'm using the Bows of Holly Designer Series paper, which is just beautiful. I had half a pack here. I've started cutting in, but I'll just let you have a quick look. It's almost like Christmas camouflage. <laughs> so you could use that as a background in anything. This like dotty spotty with a watercolour -y look this beautiful beautiful print concertias and then this kind of green good background piece these two go fairly well together with a sort of crumb cakey background I like this just abstracty textured background then these poinsettias, which are just crying out to be fussy cut. A lovely kind of ready, watery, colory background. And more poinsettias. And then trees. And a kind of camouflage type of background. So what I've done is I have a wee bit of prep. So I have used this dye from the Aspen dyes. And cut this out on a, the size that's the same as my card front size. And then I've run it through this embossing folder. The one with the fern leaves that comes with the... Oh goodness me, you know the one I mean. <laughs> the stamp set with all the nature's prints. So yeah. <laughs> oh well, nothing changes here. Okay, so this is what I've chosen to use. I've cut it in e evening evergreen. I always want to say early evergreen. And I decided it would work well with the evergreen trees in the background. Although these are, I think, aspen trees, which are deciduous trees. We could be looking through an old wood through to the a more modern evergreen forest you could use this as a background would work just as well I guess you could even be looking through at the fonsetches <laughs> that you know you any you you know adding more color there it could be like an evening sky there's so much you can do with this maybe not so just play until you get what works for you with, with what you want to show. So anyway, I decided to use the trees. I love trees anyway, so that's what I chose from that paper. Now, I'm doing this as a Christmas card. However, I think it would actually make a very nice masculine birthday. Wouldn't you think? Just like that. And the stamp set I'm using is very best occasions. And look, it has a happy birthday. Thinking of you. So it's not all Christmas. Sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. That goes with the happy birthday. So lots of lovely sentiments in this stamp set. 12 in fact. Which I just think is brilliant. So... This is now a very stick together card, so it's just going to be a white insert. It's a tent fold card, and this is just going to stick down. I've cut a piece of the distressed gold. I had a scrap lying on my desk from a previous project and that's what the sentiment is going to be. I had to practice it so that I could get the size. So I have cut the size and I will stamp that in the video. So let's just get cracking. Let's stamp this. It's This is the only stamping 
probably in this card, although you could put something inside. May your days be happy, your heart be light, your Christmas merry and your New Year bright. How lovely is that? I um, just need to move so that I can see what I'm doing here. And I think I've maybe not got the best light going on here. It's a bit squint, but we'll see it's at an arty angle. I don't know if I need a bit of back fill here. It's just all shadows. It's winter. Well, not winter, it's autumn, but our light in Scotland is just too dodgy now. Right, and then I'm just going to basically glue everything together now. So we're sort of sentiment. So this is definitely a card you could do a batch of. You might manage to get your sentiments straighter, but... I just say I did it at an arty angle for interest. And then we'll just pop this on. The card base now I have cut this layer just a few millimetres shorter all round so that there's a border and then the piece that I have die cut from the aspen dies um, is the same size as the card front. Just want that to stick properly. Just takes a bit longer to stick to metallic surfaces. And let me think what might I put inside? I suppose you could say, may you enjoy the warmth of family this season. Is there not just a, there's not a plain Merry Christmas or Happy Christmas in there. So, I'll just, I haven't um, got the stickers on all of these yet. That's quite new to me. this on the inside. So there's a few different products in this card however if you want to do something similar just have a look through your stash and find things that work for you to give you the same sort of you know you might be able to use okay the aspen dye well you could use the other one that's with the the deer one, the one, oh gosh, the other one that you can see through. I've done cards with it before, with the deer and the trees. <laughs> you could use that. I've tried to put the link to I know exactly which one I mean right now, but it's from the annual catalogue. Why is it always when I want to tell you something? I, it, grassy Grove, is it? Yeah, Grassy Grove, the die with that. I knew it would come if I talked long enough. We add other stamp in here. You could, you know, you could decorate this with holly leaves or anything out of any stamp set that you might have. And then just, you have to decide which side you're putting on your card or you have in the bit that's debossed or the bit that's embossed. You can do it that way or that way. The choice is yours. I'm going to do it that way where it looks more embossed. Didn't really think about it when I put it in of direction or anything when I put it in the folder. I just did it.
as I say, use wet glue so that I can get this lined up properly. And I'm just gluing it down flat so that I'll be able to pop it in the post. When I tried to move that and it went too far, but we're all right, that's it now. So just double check that it is lined up correctly. And then just press it down a bit till it grasps it. There you go. And then I'm just going to pop this on with some dimensionals. As I say, no real fancy stuff because, well, that's not dimensionals, is it? This bling. going to use some of this the bits from the borders just use it up going to put this in the bottom right hand corner and that is my card for today so thank you very much I mean you can bling it up as much as you can but I thought it might be quite nice to keep that masculine look about it and not make it too fussy I don't think that's very straight just straightened it up a wee bit there we go so thanks very much for coming on. You could give it sparkle with Wink of Stella. You could splatter it. You could do lots of things, but I'm just going to keep it simple. So thank you very, very much for coming and watching today. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Please share it out with anyone you think that might be interested. Um, yeah, I'm still tracking to try and get to 2,000 subscribers. But thank you so much. I will see you on the next video.